All right, this is probably one of the most effective strategies I have ever seen, but I never see anybody do it. If I was to start over again, I would use this exact strategy because it is the exact strategy that I used when I was starting. I got about $10,000 within my first week and a half, two weeks of using this strategy. Uh, first couple clients within that first week of using this strategy. And if this video gets too popular, I'm just going to have to take it down because it is really that valuable. And I don't want a whole bunch of people doing it. So anyways... Let's just say we are selling to videographers, commercial videographers. I used to be a videographer, so I know kind of what they want. I know they don't, don't really like doing wedding videos. They'd rather do more commercial videos. And let's just say we're selling database reactivation to them, maybe helping them create partnerships or doing cold email for them. You can take that idea. You can take that agency model and run with it. I can guarantee you can get clients just with that thing. All right, so take that and run. So now there are three simple steps that I use to be able to get them as clients extremely easily. First thing is find them. Second thing is get them to raise their hand and then convert, getting them to get on a sales call with you, right? So first thing, find them. All right. The cool thing about getting people to raise their hand is that we don't have to go through the rigorous process of doing the cold outreach. Now cold outreach, I teach cold outreach. I do cold outreach. It works extremely, extremely well. The problem with cold outreach is that you have to send out 100 messages, and usually within any given market, only 3% of the market is willing to buy at any given time. And so if only 3% is willing to buy, that means we have sent 97 messages out of 100 that were worthless, right? They went to nobody. Like, no one really cared in them to begin with. So how about we save our time and not send messages to 97 people that aren't interested and just send the messages to the 3% of people that are interested, right? So the first thing we need to do is find these people. And the best way I have found to find these people is in Facebook groups. The reason for Facebook groups is that it's completely different than any other social media platform. And I'll give you some reasons why. The first thing is with like a YouTube channel, as an example, if I go on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, hundreds of millions of subscribers, I cannot post a video on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel, right? I cannot post my own thing into his channel. If I go to uh, Instagram, I cannot post on Messi's Instagram page, right? I have to pay for those promotions to be a part of those. And those are millions and millions of dollars, right? To get in front of those hundreds of millions of people. And I don't want to do that, right? But with a Facebook group, I can get into a group with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of members, and I can just post whatever I want and get access to that audience just by posting whatever I want into that audience, right? So we can't do that on a YouTube channel or an Instagram page. They own that audience, right? But with a Facebook group, we can all own the audience. We can all kind of post whatever you want. Obviously, there's moderators and people will kick you out for certain things, stuff like that. But there's ways of being safe around those things. This also applies to, let's say, Reddit groups or school communities. They can also work for that. But I'm just giving you Facebook is the biggest, obviously, and it's the easiest to find people on here. So anyways, what we need to do is just find out where your audience hangs out. Again, let's just say my fake example offer is helping videographers get commercial video jobs. And so now we just need to find videographers on Facebook. The way to do that is go to the Facebook groups tab right there, boom, like that, and look up videographers. Pretty easy. And now we have a whole bunch of groups with videographers. Cool. Videography, right? There's different types of groups. There's like videography, buy, sell, trade, or camera, buy, sell, trade, stuff like that. There's also videography growth, people talking about business and all that stuff, and we'll get into that in a second. And there's also, uh, I need a videographer, which is people that are trying to, or videographer for, for beginners, videography editing, people, just networking groups, connect groups, right? Net networker, editors, all that stuff, 30,000 members, 6.5,000 members, 8,000, 18,000 members, 7,000 members, 26, plenty of members in these groups, plenty of people that we can reach out to, right? And these are people that are dedicating their lives to doing this thing, which I sell to these people which is great. And it makes it extremely easy for us to find our audience just doing that. Now, some of the really good groups that you can reach out to is there's like Facebook groups of like how to get unlimited wedding videos or videography business growth group or videography business marketing, stuff like that. I couldn't find any examples for this video, but there are groups like that. And those groups are pretty good because usually they're made by someone that's trying to market a product. So they're trying to sell to videographers how to grow as a videographer. And so they're saying, hey, we have a system for getting uh, hundreds of clients as a videographer, join our Facebook group. And so then people join that Facebook group. And those are really good groups to reach out to because they're actively joining that group because one, they're a videographer and two, they're trying to grow as a videographer. So that's, that's perfect for us because we help people grow as well. So we can kind of steal that audience away from them, which is amazing with Facebook groups. And that's really, again, that's the only platform we can really do this. You cannot do DMs on YouTube and steal people that comment on another post. Right? We can kind of do that on Instagram, but not as much, you know, 
Anyways, so we have found some Facebook groups. One group that I like that I used, uh, I did this actually before, was I Need a Videographer. So I think if I look up Videographer right here, I'm a part of this group, I Need a Videographer. Great group, tens of thousands of members, very active, pretty good. Cool. Obviously, there's some Facebook groups that like they're not very active or they'll have like just a whole bunch of random Indian TikTok stuff like that. Obviously, we don't want to go into those because they're not real active members in there. So we want to actually make sure that it's a good, decent group with people that are actually asking things like, hey, I'm looking for a videographer in Houston, two cameras, blah, 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 blah. Right. So now we have to get people to raise their hand. Second task, raising their hand. All that means is they are saying that they are interested in your offer and by you know expressing some interest taking some sort of action to express their interest in your offer or in a offer right so let's just say i'm in a crowd and then there is a hundred people in this crowd i i can either go one by one to each individual person and say hey would you like uh this system on getting consistent commercial videography jobs and they say no i'm not interested all right next person hey would you like a system to get consistent videography jobs no i'm not interested next one next one next one next one right that's the cold outreach approach what we're doing reaching out to 100 people one by one and only three people saying yes. Or what I could do is I can go to this crowd and I could say, what if I just elevated myself? Let me find a platform somewhere. Elevate yourself and say, hey, everybody, is there anybody interested in getting commercial videography jobs? Please raise your hand. And about three to five people will raise their hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually interested in that. And then you can go to those people and say, hey, okay, you come here and talk to me and you guys talk. And then you can convert them into a call or into a sale from there, rather than having to go one by one into each individual person. So we want to find the people that are raising their hands because it would be much easier to have three or four conversations rather than having hundreds of conversations and not getting nowhere. So how do we do this? The best way that I have found to do this is direct offer posts. This is when you post something that's just like, hey, does anyone need help getting more commercial video offer jobs? I put out an example. Here's an example. Boom. Look at me. Boom. This is, I just put it private to myself so no one can see it. That's why it has no likes or anything. I just posted it just now, as you can see. Anyone interested in getting 10 commercial video jobs this month? Comment 10 below. Now, uh, one is making sure that you do it like this because these always look, always on Facebook or any social platform, always have a picture or uh, make it big like this where they let you do on Facebook. They have this thing where it's basically a picture, but it's just text, whatever. I call it a billboard post. They always grab more attention than anything else. If I scroll through here on this group, obviously this one, it kind of doesn't really hit my attention. I don't even, I barely even see it, right? These ones you don't even barely see. Oh, this huge photo. We're hiring, but you are for full time email, blah, blah, blah. That's that intrigues me like a lot more than the four posts I just passed. Right. And it's huge on anonymous poster. Oh, okay, so okay, so okay, so okay. oh hey, look, this catches your attention, immediately catches your attention. Right. I also try to make sure I try to find the contrast colors, the best uh, contrast ones because like red and white is pretty contrasty. There's obviously a ton of other colors that they give you, but uh, like the black one might be good in black and white. It's maybe good, but then these like weird, you know, colors, whatever has the highest contrast, that's what I would do. Anyways, cool. All right, so that's an example. If I just post this, one of these billboard posts, these work exceptionally well because it's just my exact offer and then they just respond to that offer and they say yes i'm interested and they raise their hand they comment on it or they reach out to you and say hey how do i get access to that or how do i do that so sometimes all we have to say all we want to say really is just the direct end result that they're getting so in this case it is the videography jobs so if you are selling seo services now you can say seo sometimes we can talk about the seo is a vehicle so we're selling any service right there is the end result that they're going to get out of it. And then there is the vehicle to get to that end result. So for example, if I want to go to Mexico, uh, I am in Ohio. I can either uh, ride on a bus, which would take a long time. It would be really annoying. I could ride on a car, which I could drive myself. And it would take maybe less time. I could go at my own pace, all that stuff. Or I could fly a plane. You have to go through TSA, right? So there's different vehicles of being able to get to that end result. And so all of them have their own unique values, right? So most of the time with any business, if we're selling any type of marketing service, we're usually selling the same thing in terms of the end result. Like we'll help you get more clients, but we're selling in different ways. We'll help you get more clients through SEO or through uh, direct outreach or through database reactivation, all that stuff, right? So we usually don't say the vehicle, but you can say the vehicle and that can help. So I could say, Hey, how, this is how we get 10 videography jobs using direct outreach. Is anybody interested or anyone with my system for getting 10 videography jobs per month without doing any paid ads or by doing SEO stuff like that, where you can kind of mention the vehicle, not necessary though. So I will give you access to this sheet. This will be in my, it's, it's in my free course in the description below, but I'll show you it right here. This is just title breakdown. This 
helps you create titles that really hook people in, get them interested immediately. And the four elements that we need for a really good title or some of the elements that we can use are benefit slash selfish desire, time, desire slash end results or challenge or fear, All right? So I'm going to show you an example. The best example is how to get desired result without challenge or fear. So how to lose 10 pounds without starving yourself, how to get 10 commercial jobs without posting any social media content, how to get 10 commercial video jobs without doing any cold outreach, without doing any paid ads. We did, I did an offer once that was how to get 10 or how to get a real estate closing this month without spending any money on ads. And that offer crushed two real estate agents. Uh, I also did an offer like how to get 100 appointments per month without doing any cold outreach. That offer crushed. I got hundreds. I think I got 300 comments on a post that I did that just said that. So those can work really, really well. Just this one. There's also more examples how to get uh, end results in time. So how we get 10 commercial jobs in two days. Really what we're trying to do is make something that sounds hard and make turn it into something that sounds extremely easy. So by that, I mean, even the title of this video, how, you know, getting a hundred appointments is extremely simple here. Here's how I don't, I don't even know what my title is, but something like that, right? It's really, here's the thing that's usually hard, hundred appointments. And how, how do we actually make it really simple? Here's how I get hundred appointments in 24 hours. Here's how I get hundred appointments really easily. Here's how I do get hundred appointments without doing any cold outreach, right? Which is all those things. This is all those things. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of, you can look at the sheet to kind of get an idea of how to title this thing. That's just one post. And again, this is really good. We'll get the best responses, the most amount of sales calls and the easiest to close deals through a post like this, just because we're explaining the offer directly. The problem is we'll run into, you'll go into Facebook groups where it's monitored a lot. They don't want you selling your own thing because maybe they're trying to sell their own thing or it's just a network and they're not trying to sell anything. Like there's a ton of, let's just say roofing groups. There's roofing marketing groups where someone in the group is trying to sell their own thing. GeForce ready game, whatever. <laughs> uh, they're trying to sell their own thing or there's Facebook groups of like a uh, roofing humor connect group. Like there's a group where they just have roofing memes, whatever those are. And they will post roofing memes. And if you try to sell your own thing in there, they'll just clown on you and then they'll just let you from the group because they don't want anyone selling anything. So we sometimes you can't get away with that and we don't want to get kicked out of the groups. Trust me, I have been kicked out of so many groups myself. So you don't want to get kicked out of groups. So the way to combat that is using different types of posts that don't look like we're really selling anything. So the different types of posts that we can do are one of them is this one it works extremely well and it works almost every single time is literally just posting a testimonial it can be your results it can be fake results it can be your client's results by fake results you can run a campaign and just get people to respond and then show people the results that you're getting it works every single time and you don't even have to do a call to action you can just say this is our results that's all i have to do right so i'm going to show you an example on my page let's scroll all the way down here i got hacked about a year ago so like a lot of my posts got deleted which kind of sucked but uh, here's one example. Nope, not this one. Here we go. All right. It's too easy. That's all I said. It's too easy. Three screenshots of testimonials. I was able to get 24 meetings in two days with my strategies. Of course, because Carson's the best. Uh, first 3K deal closed uh, from iMessage. This guy closed a $4,800 deal. Awesome, right? Cool. One day. Dopamine. Here's the nine comments. Let's look at these nine comments. What's the system? Hmm. People raising their hand. How do you do that? What's the system, right? This person, whatever, uh, just messaged you. This person's messaging me because now he's interested. How teach me, hook me up, share the process. What's your Facebook link, right? <laughs> so these people are already interested. I didn't have to say a single word. I just let the results speak for themselves and people immediately, they feel FOMO. They feel a fear of missing out. Like this guy is getting some results that I'm not getting. How come he's getting it faster than me, easier than me? And I've been do, I've been working so hard. I've been doing all these things. How is he able to do that? And I'm not able to, able to do that, right? And so th then they're curious and they want to know how it works. And so you can just post the results and it just makes them curious. Like, hey, I just got 100 appointments this month. Loving life. And then they're like, how do you do that, right? What's even better, <laughs> this is crazy. People do this to me too. I have a guy in my group. Uh, you know who you are. He's trying to sell to people in my group. And uh, he'll do this. And uh, I've done this too where you can just go into a Facebook group, right? Let's just say there, or I'm in a videography growth group where some other guy's trying to sell a service on how to grow for videographers, right? And I can say, hey, I just got 10 new commercial videography jobs thanks to this guy's program. Thanks everyone, right? I'm thanking the guy, right? The guy that owns this group. So he's obviously not going to delete my post or he's obviously not going to, there goes my light. He's obviously not going to <laughs> uh, kick me out or do anything. He's all, probably gonna pin the post. He's like, hey, look, we're getting these results with our clients. But the people are going to reach out to me because they're going to ask, well, how are you doing that, right? So people will go in my group saying, hey, I just got 100 appointments using Carson Strategies. Thanks, guys. Have, have a good job, team, whatever. And then people are like, well, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? And they'll reach out to him. They'll be like, how are you doing it? And then he's trying to sell them something, you know? 
So that can work extremely well too. You're just like promoting the guy, the main guy, but they are coming, they're going to come to you anyways. That's a really good way of doing it. Just posting in there. I, again, I don't recommend you doing a call to action where you say, Hey, this is how the results we're getting. Anyone interested in getting these results? You don't have to do that. You can just say whatever it is. But if they let you do a call to action, you can do a call to action saying, if anyone's interested, comment, blah, 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 and below, and I'll help you on how to do blah, blah, blah strategy. So works like magic. Another thing we can do, this works really well as well. All right, this one's actually insane. Cool strategy. So when I was getting started, I had these clients and these clients were, I had a client that was targeting HVAC companies. He was selling database reactivation, automated systems to HVAC companies. And he would say things like, uh, I don't want that lead because they're interested in marketing, right? They were interested in like SEO services, right? He doesn't do SEO. He does database reactivation. And so this guy really wants SEO services. So I was like, I was like, these are valuable leads. Why don't we just actually use these leads? So then I would post into Facebook groups and I would say, Hey, I have a lead of someone, a plumber or an HVAC company that really wants specific service, SEO services. Can anybody help me out? And I would get hundreds of comments. People saying, I can help you. I can help you. I can help you. People reaching out to me saying, we can help you all that. I would give the lead to one person because I don't have one lead, right? Give the lead to one. Here's the email, first name, last name, all that jazz. Here's what he said, blah, blah, blah. Everyone else, I would say, Hey, I'm really sorry. I gave the lead to somebody else, but I have this consistent system that's getting me hundreds of HVAC companies that are interested in these marketing services, including SEO. And I want to see if you could partner up with me because I need someone to work with. Right. And then now it kind of sounds like a partnership. So we're not selling them something. We're kind of working with them. And we've now turned this uh, lead that we just gave to one person into 99 more opportunities to sell something. Because obviously these people are on Facebook. They're not raising their hand saying that, Oh, I'm interested in your marketing services, but they're raising their hand saying, I'm looking for more leads. I'm looking for more sales. And now I'm saying I have the system for helping you get more sales, which is amazing. So you can do that. You can also, what some people do as well is that they can, what they'll do is post from a different account. So they'll post a different account saying, Hey, I need a videographer in Las Vegas. I'm willing to spend $10,000. Can anybody help me? Right. And the people are like, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And then from the other account, they'll do from their main account. They'll send messages to the people that commented and then just do your cold pitch to them. Even though it's not like the same person from the post, it's still, these people are raising their hands saying that they're interested. And so if you reach out to them, they're more likely to respond. So those work really well as well. So another good way of doing this is, uh, one thing that one of the guys are doing is you can also do with this, you can even do a fake campaign if you want to. So by that, I mean, you could just, if, if this were me, right. And I, I don't have any leads for video offers right now. I would just send a hundred messages out to hundred companies and say, Hey, I'm willing to do a free commercial video for you. Are you interested? Five, 10 people will say, yes, I'm interested. And I would say, put up one of these posts, even right here. I need a videographer, right? I just post in here. Hey, I need a videographer for a software company. Can anybody help me out? Hundreds of comments. Yes, I'm interested. I gave it to one person, everybody else. Hey, sorry, I don't have any more leads, but I have a system that's consistently working for me. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. That works really well. All right. This next one is pretty crazy. Uh, what you do is, <laughs> this is, I've seen this a lot over the years, but no one's really done it a ton. And I've seen it pop, kind of pop up more and more, but I, I've been like following people that, you know, have been doing this in the nineties and the eighties and it worked for them then. And so I think this would be a really good consistent strategy. And I think it's kind of getting popular now, but no one's still, no one's really using it. So what we're doing is doing an interview or a podcast. So I'll give you an example. Keaton Walker, I think gave an example of this a while ago. I'm going to probably butcher the story, but I think what he said was he was, he got his first couple clients, maybe just one or two. He was trying to get more clients. And so he put in a Facebook group at towards orthodontists. That's who he was targeting at the time. And he said, Hey, look, I'm trying to do interviews with ortho orthodontists, just trying to do some market research. If you are willing to do an interview with me, I will give you a video that I made on everything that I've learned with working with ortho orthodontists and everything I learned on how to market your orthodontic practice. Is anybody interested? So a whole bunch of people said, yeah, I'm interested. I'm willing to do the interview. He did a whole bunch of interviews, gave them the, these documents, was able to convert a lot of those interviews into sales calls and those sales calls into clients. And so that worked really well for him. So we go from an interview, which is like just uh, non-salesy whatsoever, a non-sales conversation, uh, turning it into a sales pitch, which is amazing, right? And so we kind of can have a, a very open conversation and somehow turn it into a, a an offer, which is uh, selling them something, right? Which is amazing. Cool. So the way you can do this, I have a guy in my group 
who is doing this for an industry that's kind of like orthodontics, like dentists. It's big like dentists. I'm not going to say the industry, but it's, it's extremely saturated. Like they get a ton of messages every single day. So what he's doing is he's saying, hey, I noticed that you were great at your practice, what you do. And I know you went to this school. We're trying to develop a really good program that we can use for this school. And I wanted to see if you were willing to do an interview with me, right? Getting 10 people per day saying, yes, we're interested in that. And this is, again, a very saturated niche, kind of like MedSpa is extremely saturated. And 10 people per day saying yes. He then converts those 10 calls into maybe three of those turn into an actual sales call of people that are actually interested in the service, the marketing service. And then, you know, one of those three people close. So it's one close deal per day, right? And obviously it's 10 calls and you don't want to do 10 calls, whatever. Maybe you only want to do the three calls. But still, we're able to get 10 people on the phone that are interested in this thing. I also heard a story a, while, a couple weeks ago, actually almost a month ago. And this was a campaign that happened maybe 20 years ago, right? But as Dan Kennedy giving an example, he had a client that was in Minneapolis and he traveled throughout the world doing executive coaching, helping like big businesses with their executive team, whatever, all that jazz, selling $50,000 packages. But he only wanted to stay in Minneapolis. He didn't want to travel the world anymore. So here was Dan Kennedy's suggestion. We get a list of 100 people that are in Minneapolis that can buy your thing. So your list of 100. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a package. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a fake book. They had a fake book, title, just blank, right? Then what they did is... Uh, get a letter from a bookstore saying that they were going to carry the book. Now we have that letter. Then they put a article in the local newspaper that was kind of a, a testimonial or a review of the book, but it was just a paid article, right? And then they cut out a whole bunch of those articles, right? A hundred of those articles. And so now in the package is the fake book, the article, the letter from the bookstore, and his letter saying, hey, I'm writing this book about this thing. I think you're an expert at this thing. I want to see if I can get 90 minutes of your time to interview about this thing, right? And you can be mentioned in this book. So then out of the 100 people, 60 something, 63% people said yes. Out of that 63, did this conversation, 30 of them, a little over 30 of them said that they were interested in this $50,000 coaching package, right? After that first initial conversation. And then that 30 turned into 16 actual closed deals. He was only looking for five closed deals and he got 16. That's $800,000. And he was only looking for five, which is $250,000, right? So being able to turn just an interview, a, a innocent looking interview podcast thing. Someone sent that to me where they said, Hey, I just want to see if you want to be part of my podcast. I go on their podcast. You can basically just ask sales questions on these interviews. You can say, where are you at right now? What's your current situation? Where do you want to go? What's your desired situation? Where do you want to be 10 years from now? Uh, what are you doing right now to get clients? How's that working for you? And then they say, Oh, it's not really working. They give you their pains and their problems at the end of the call. You can say, Hey, that was a great podcast. You know what? Actually, my team can actually help you with that. If I were you, what I would do is blah, 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 give them some value. And then say, Hey, if I were you, what I would do is we can do blah, 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 this, 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 this. And then you can close them on the deal. I actually know a guy. <laughs> There's another weird story. I know I'm going rambling on here, but he's, he's just selling the podcast. So he's doing podcasts with people. He's saying, Hey, would you like to be a part of my podcast to doctors, lawyers, all this random stuff gets a doctor on the podcast, ask some questions, all that jazz. And then at the end of the podcast, he would say, Hey, I think you get doing these podcasts, get me a ton of clients. So what if, if I were you, I would do podcasts yourself and you can get clients that way. And oh, I can help you create that podcast and we can build it out for you and we can do the outreach for you and we can get members or people that would like, people that you would want to sell to on your podcast. And then at the end of the podcast, you can just sell them your service. So he's just getting them on a podcast and then selling them how to create a podcast selling service, right? <laughs> Which is pretty interesting. And that's working extremely well for them as well. So that's something, another thing, there's a guy in my group who, uh, the same guy that was saying that's like trying to steal my customers. Uh, he's taking that strategy and he's posting like crazy things like into this videography group. He would post something like, Hey, I need a video for Amazon. Can anybody help me out? Or I need a video. We're creating a video for Microsoft. I need the best video for, can anybody help me out? And people are like, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Right. Just some crazy thing. Just to get people to respond. Everybody responds. He's actually doing, like, he's, <laughs> he's putting in groups like, Hey, I need someone to get on good morning America, a really prominent business owner that wants to be on good, good morning America. Is anybody interested in all people like I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And then he's just selling them on a completely different offer. And so it's, it's really baiting switch. He's kind of lying, but it is lying. Uh, and then he's posting it to the group. He's saying, Hey, then he's posting the testimonial, flipping that around and saying, Hey, I'm getting a hundred appointments a week, uh, using this strategy. And he's really just <laughs> kind of trying to sell to people that they're going to get them on shark tank when it's not shark tank at all. just stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you want me to share that strategy. I'm sorry if you, I, I told you not to do that, but you're doing it anyways. So I'm <laughs> sorry, bro. I have nothing against you, but anyways, all right. That strategy he's doing, it's kind of unethical, but you can, Go out with a, hey, I'm just looking for an interview, looking to get podcast people on my podcast and then get them to convert into an actual sales call. All right. 
So that's all the strategies. Another thing is some of these groups don't let you do that. Some of these groups don't let you post whatever you want. It's just, let's just say the owner only can post what they want. So the thing is the owner will probably post things saying, hey, I, I, let's just say, for example, this group, right? 10 comments. I need a video out for blah, 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 right? 10 people in here saying, yes, I'm interested. DM'd, DM sent, right? Let's chat. Budget, I have availability, right? So these people are raising their hand. We don't have to get them to raise their hand. We just have to find the people that are, have their hand raised or that are willing to do the thing, right? We just have to find people that have their hand raised. So if we can do that, then we can just sell to those people. So I've gone into groups and there was a post that had 100, let's say, I think 800 comments, something like that, something crazy. And I would reach out to people that had commented on that post. And then I just pitched the exact same offer that the original guy pitched, which was like, let's say a cold email strategy. Hey, we have a system that can send a hundred thousand cold emails a month. Is anybody interested? And all the people say, I can do it. We are, we're interested. We're interested. We're interested. And so I would reach out to the people and say, Hey, I have a system for getting, sending out a hundred thousand cold emails. Would you be interested? They're obviously already interested because they already said yes to this original post. Now people might ask, well, uh, what if I get kicked out of the group? No one's ever going to know that you actually sent the post because they, they won't know where you came from. Right. Or if you might think, well, what if they already bought from the other guy? Out of those 900 people or out of any post, only about 5 to 10% will actually buy from them. That's on a good day, 5 to 10%. So if I have 100 comments, maybe 10 people bought, more likely four people bought my program. You know, And so we have 95% of people that did not buy, and so we can still reach out to them. And on top of that, the people that did buy, usually anyone that buys one thing in the, in the industry of fitness, usually if you buy one thing, you're going to buy seven more things. So if I buy a, an ab roller and ab equipment, whatever, I'm usually going to buy something, a, a pull up arm bar, whatever, right? I'm going to buy other stuff on top of that. And so the lead, the best lead to reach out to is the one that has already bought something. So the people that say, I've already tried an agency in the past. I already tried an agency in the past. You would reach out to them. They are the best people to reach out to. They're the best people to sell to because they've already tried it before. It didn't work for them. So now they're sunk in and they want to try something else to get it to work again. So those are usually the best people to contact. So that's why I would reach out to, I would reach out to people right here, you know, that have commented on here and reach out to them because obviously they're on Facebook looking for videography jobs. And so that means they're responsive. They're already on Facebook, which is great because a lot of people, they'll join a group and then they just won't, you know, look in the group ever. They won't even uh, go to check their Facebook anymore. But these people are obviously already active, which is amazing. So we'll have a higher response rate and higher close rate just because they're already interested in this stuff. Cool. All right. Now the other thing is trying to get them to convert. How do we get them over to a book sales call, right? How do I hold the conversation? I have all these conversations. How do we get these over? Holy cow, dude, I have way too many conversations. Uh, how do we get these over to a book sales call? Uh, how we do this? I have a whole video in my free course on how to book calls through DMs. I'm not going to get too much into it right now, but the, the first message that you're going to send is if they say, Hey, I'm interested in that thing. I'm interested in getting 10 commercial videography jobs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to send them a message saying, Hey, I just saw you were interested in getting 10 commercial videography jobs. And then you're going to ask a qualifying question. My qualifying question usually is how are you getting clients right now? It, it doesn't have to be a qualifying question. It just has to be a question, right? So if we ask a question just to keep the conversation going, but if I ask, how are you getting jobs right now? Then they can say one of two things. One is I'm just getting started or I don't have any clients right now, or I don't have a consistent system. Okay, cool. That probably means they don't have any clients at all, which means they probably don't have any money, which means they probably can't afford my service. Cool. So we can just end the conversation there. Or they say, you know, the system we use right now is just relying on word of mouth, but it isn't consistent. That is perfect. Cause that means they are getting some jobs. At least they have some money, but they don't have a consistent system, which is exactly what I sell. I will sell you consistent systems so that you're consistently getting leads and appointments and sales. And so I, I am the solution to your prayers and all your problems. And then we can lean that over into a book sales call. You can ask a couple more questions, give them some value and then ask for the call. You don't really want to give a, ask for the call until you give them value and have a conversation a little bit back and forth. I don't like the building rapport approach. I don't like, I have a whole video on that in the free course too, on why we shouldn't build rapport, like asking about their day or how their kids are doing. They, they do not want to answer those questions. No one really wants to have, hold that conversation. And so just keeping it about business short and sweet, but leading to a booked call. So I have videos on my free course on how to do that. So that is what you do. And that is about it. Now I know this strategy is going to get you appointments and sales and clients. I know that for a fact, if you actually do this, because I know that it's actually going to work, I need you to do something for me. I gave you this free value for free, so I need you to do something for me. Just hear out my pitch for the next 30 seconds, right? Hear out what I have to sell to you, right? So here's my offer. I have a system. We have, that's one strategy out of like 30 strategies, maybe 28 or 29 strategies that we use to get about 350 sales calls per month. That's how many sales calls I get per month. So 
What we do is we help you implement those strategies. We set up the systems for you. We give you access to all the automations, all the tools that you'll need. I build the scripts out for you. I personally do it for you, right? I build out the automation. I build out the email campaign. I build out the SMS campaign for you. So there's email, SMS, Facebook, Instagram, Google Calendar, a school outreach, Twitter outreach, like all these different outreach strategies that we do. And all these strategies are also automated. I don't like doing anything manually. So all the Facebook, the, the thing where I said you can reach out to people that have commented on that post, I have an automation that automatically reaches out to people that have commented on that post. And so it'll reach out to 50 people per day. That's the limit on Facebook. I have all these automations that I use because I don't like doing anything manually because it's a lot easier just to automate things. And then if someone responds, you turn it into a booked call from there. So we set it up for you. We give you access to the automations you need. We scrape the lead list for you. And usually you'll get about three to five appointments per day once it's up and running. In the first month, you'll get about 20 to 40 appointments. If you use strategies like this, you can get 20 appointments uh, in a day. Uh, but uh, on average, you're getting about 20 to 40 appointments the first month and then three to five calls per day after that consistently. So if you're interested in that, you can book a call below. If it doesn't work for you, you do not pay me anything whatsoever. And you get to keep all the strategies. You get to keep the system I built out for you. You get to keep the softwares. You get to keep the scripts that I built out for you. You get to keep the, the lead list that we get for you for free. You get to keep all those and you don't have to pay me anything if it doesn't work. So if you're interested, book a call below. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. One shot. I didn't have to cut at all. 30 minutes in. I am a G. I'll talk to you guys soon. (laughs)